inside the box of rock with my good friends Tyler and Dave from Theory of a Dead Man. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen you guys. It has been forever. It has been. It has been. I remember. We came to the station, I think. Yeah, you guys were at the station, um, I guess, for the last album cycle. And now, of course, we have Savages out, which is such a great record. Talk to me a little bit about the different sound of this record, because it's definitely different than the last couple records, but still reminds me, if this makes any sense at all, of the first record. Yes? Yeah, this one's actually physically louder. <laughs> we just trick people. They think it's heavier, but it's just actually just louder by one unit. It goes to 11. It goes to 11, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah, it's a little heavier. It's nice that you said it goes back to our first record because a lot of people say, well, you know, quite a different sound. It's new or it's it's a right turn or something. It's actually just us. We actually got away from our original sound the last couple records and now we're just returning back to our roots, yeah. which, you know, is a little bit heavier. Yeah. Definitely got that nice heavy uh, vibe. So talk to me a little bit about uh, Drown, which was the first single that we got. Now, I heard that for you, Tyler, uh, this was a song that was really um, came from the heart. It's just me being sorry, feeling sorry for myself. I was just sitting at home alone, grew a beard, and uh, just wrote a song about being miserable. So... Uh, perfect it's this perfect way to start the record yeah and I'm, and I'm actually really glad that you had that experience because we got such a great song you know out of it you guys have been festival darlings going out and doing so many great festivals do you love it is it you know when you're out in front of that massive sea of people and the great part of course everybody has their phones up which is always interesting but do you uh, have you loved being out you know doing a lot of these festivals that you guys have been out on with this record i love doing the festivals we always say that festivals are kind of like reunions because you do you know you do these legs of tours and then every now and again there'll be like a festival date in between and there's 20 bands there and so for me it's just exciting to go and see the other bands that we've toured with and and reunite and put our arms around each other and dance in circles and that's what i do i just you know i'm the i'm the diplomat in the band i always go and befriend all the other bands so for me, it's exciting to just go and, and see all those bands again. And it's nice to have that kind of traveling circus. You're kind of out. It's almost like summer summer camp for grown-ups, really. It yeah, that's exactly what it is, too. And you're like, how much beer do you have? Oh, I got so much beer, too. <laughs> well, let's go pool our resources and see how much fun we can have tonight. Yeah. I almost swore there, but... No, it's okay. It's okay. I want you guys to be yourself. So if you feel comfortable doing that, that's fine. Um, so Tyler, let me ask you, you're on the tour bus and you're listening to some stuff on your iPod and uh, top five songs, top three songs, give me, that maybe people wouldn't expect that you would be listening to, to psych you up for that theory, you know, that, that night of theory of the dead man music. Something that would psych me up before like a show or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, that people would be a little surprised, you know. Would it be like something from, I don't know, like a Casey and the Sunshine Band? Like one of those really uh, odd, odd off bands. What do you got? Like a uh, Peter Gabriel, something like that. Actually, uh, I do something really lame, which is actually meditate now. Which is You do? You're a meditator now. Totally lame. Uh, I don't know. I think just being, yeah, like the rest of the guys will get all pumped up. So Joe's literally cranking Seven Dust or deaf tones or sometimes 311 in the back lounge and these guys in the front cranking some ditties that dave's put on and then i'm in the middle sandwiched in the bus and i'm trying to relax it's just being a singer you don't want to go on stage and blow your voice in the first two songs so you try to yeah so that's what i do i try to relax interesting interesting now dave um you and me share something in common we love dogs. Yes. We you were just talking about uh, your dogs. Tell me a little bit about your dogs. I got two little little ones. They're like. Uh, I find rockers have little dogs. Maybe because it's e they're easier to travel with. Or... Yeah. For us, when we started, it was me and my ex now who share custody of these dogs. But we both just love them to death. You know, when we first got them, we just didn't have the space. And she's like, "I need a dog. You're always away. You're always on the road." And I'm like, "No." But then I guess, you know, I finally, I just was like, all right, I'll ask the landlord, see if we can get a dog. And like, you know, you live in a small place, you just can't get a huge dog. So that's how it started. We got these two little dogs. Uh, yeah, they're both, one's like 10, one's like four, or so I forget. I'm a bad, I'm a deadbeat dad, <laughs> deadbeat dog dad. Uh, but you know what, I think that uh, for me, it's, it's like my dogs are home for me now. I just like go home and spend one week at home, and I don't care if I'm sleeping on a park bench 
So I got my dogs, I'm just like, ah, that's fine. I just cuddle on a park bench with my dogs, and I'll be happy. Yeah, well, it's a nice, um, it, they never judge. They don't care. You know, I remember talking to Rob Zombie, and he's like, my dogs don't care if the record's a success. My dog, you know, they don't just, they just don't care, They're you so know? happy to see you, yeah. like, yeah. instantly. And it's like, they see you, and it's like, oh, my God, I just love you. I see you, and I just want to be in your lap. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. See, you don't get you don't get that from people. So, congratulations on a great record. I love it. Uh, there's just so many amazing tracks on this record, especially the title track, which is like a real ass kicker. Um, and congratulations on uh, touring. I guess you guys are going to be out continuously around this record. You've been, you know, since the record came out. And is this going to be a real long touring year for you? You guys have been road warriors for many, 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 many years. It's gonna be a long. We uh, we're all sleepy because we've been uh, this tour is uh, it's about two months in. We got a month left. We get one week off, and then we do a whole week, and then we do a Canadian tour, uh, which will be about a month by the time we're all seven down. But the good news is, like me and Dave, uh, instead of flying home for like it's like two days off coming up before we go to Russia, and a bunch everyone's flying home for two days. Me and Dave are going to go to Barcelona, Spain instead and lay on a beach instead of flying and seeing, you know, family. <laughs> You're doing the most important thing. You got, Well, you, you guys deserve it. Um, Dave and Tyler, always good to see you guys. First letter in family is. <laughs> yeah, what's the first letter in family? When I see these guys, I feel like it's old home week. I feel like it is family, and it's always good to see you guys. Thanks so much for sitting down with us. Welcome to New Jersey. We're so happy to have you here. Happy to be here.